Hello and welcome to Chocolate and Cheese. My name is Dom and this is the lovely... Hello, Working Lulu. That is the Working Lulu. We are once again in Lou's kitchen. And we welcome. have... Welcome. We have a very special Easter treat for you. Ooh. Yes, the whole week is all going to be themed around Easter because hmm. Sunday, come Sunday, Monday, we have, we actually have uh, Easter... Uh, Yes, so we do uh, have a wonderful treat for you, um, a very nice uh, sweet dish. Um, we always make sweet dishes, don't we? Yeah. Yes, we, we both have uh, sweet teeth, so yeah, that's what we have. And what, what's that thing that we're doing today called, actually? Milk crepe? Milk crepe, milk crepe. Okay, so milky crepes, milky pancakes, very mm. interestingly. Now, Lou has given me something to read here um, of how to actually make the milky crepes, the pancakes. Yeah, for these ingredients. Now, to make the crepes um, by yourself, it's not actually very difficult. It's, you know, hardly any ingredients. Um, you know, for a portion for, again, you know, two people to try it out, um, it's going to be 200 grams of flour, 400 milliliters of milk, so that's almost half a liter. Then we have two tablespoons of olive oil and two, cre uh, two eggs to make mm. the crepe. Whole the eggs. eggs. Whole eggs, yeah. And uh, you see that dish is going to be layered pancakes and in between okay. you're going to have some cream mixture. Now to make that, uh, that cre uh, cream mix, you're going to need two tablespoons of sugar, 200 grams of cream yeah. and 250 grams of mascarpone cheese. That's actually quite interesting because mm -hmm. so far we have ever only used mascarpone for yeah. um, tiramisu. tiramisu. So it'll be the first dish where we're actually making something else mm -hmm. with it. I'm quite excited about mm -hmm. that. Uh, and then uh, you said vanilla sugar uh, for, for the finishing touches. Yeah. The on top sprinkle. On you top. sprinkle that on top of the, of, of, of the in, in the very, very end. I absolutely mm -hmm. love it. Okay, fantastic. All right, so the, the first thing that we obviously need to do is to make these pancakes. Now, can mm. I just say, Lou, I have never managed to actually make pancakes. They it's either... actually crepe. Okay, so okay, much okay, okay, okay. thinner than pancakes. Yeah, thinner crepes. Um, thinner pancakes. I have thinner never actually crepes. been able to make them myself. Uh, they either, you know, stick and burn in my pan, mm. or they just uh, come out as a complete liquid mess. Mm. Uh, Lou, give, give us an idea of how you make a crepe. I have no idea. How, 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 how do you do it, actually? Um, put some um, cindaya or oil mm -hmm. on the pancake surface. Uh, no, pancake. Yeah. So you, can prepare, <laughs> you prepare a pan and then you put some olive oil around it, you know, to, yeah. you know, to, yeah, to coat I it. But I normally use uh, kitchen paper. Okay, kitchen paper. That's a really so good idea. So not to drip, yeah. 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 drip yeah. anything. Yeah. yeah, and a warm up. Yes, then you warm up the pan. Mm. And then put the one ladle. Yeah. Not really big ladle, but... Yeah, yeah. 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 one scoop. The, the ingredients that I mentioned before for the actual pancake, uh, you just put that all together. You all just mix together. it, you mix that, what I said about the ingredients, all together, and then you ladle, you know, the pan with the, with the yeah. liquid, actually. Mm -hmm. How much liquid do you have for one pancake? You see, that's always the question, isn't it? I How much liquid is it, roughly? Doesn't that matter. will be... Like that? What do you yeah, think? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, four tablespoons? Possibly about three to four tablespoons, you know, mm. and, until your pan is kind of like covered, isn't it? Yeah, you know, so it depends you just on the. Yeah. Rolling, rolling. Yeah. Pancakes. Mm. Yeah. Round okay. pan. Yes, yeah, yeah. So you move it around a mm. little bit so all so it's all nicely covered. So it's like a thin pancake. Yeah, thin pancakes, absolutely. Mm. And then how long do you actually um, then cook it for that particular? Oh, it's very short. Yeah. Like until these um, liquid yeah. getting uh, slightly yellowy. Okay, okay. And then it looks like dry. Okay, so the pancake actually does dry in you mm. and it becomes a little bit yellowy then, so that yeah. gives you an idea. Is that the time when you actually have to flick it? And then you just roll uh, Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then you actually, you know, turn, to turn it over. Yeah, yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. So, and, and then you have to do a loads of them actually for this particular dish yeah. because it's going to be almost today. like a cake full of layers. Yeah. So how, how many are we making today? I think you counted just under 20. Like, it will depend yeah. on the size of your pan, mm. but you should have quite a few, you know, definitely into the double figures, yeah. you know, mm. definitely. That sounds really good to me. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. 
So we sorted out the pancakes now. Um, we've got that was a long time. Yeah, that that took quite a long time. Now before you actually start mixing this, uh, mm. the next thing will be the actual cream filling. Mm. And again, you, know, you just mix the ingredients all together, mm. and then you put them into a plastic bowl, and then you just whisk it. You, know, you can whisk yeah. it by hand, which is going to take you forever, and it's going to make your arm fall off. You just use an electric uh, one, electric kind, uh, and that will take you about two minutes to. Uh, have a very nice and mm. stiff. So it's yeah, gonna be very, it's gonna be the consistency stiff. of like oh no. If you put it out, yeah. it's like it's stunned okay. for okay. a while. Yeah. Actually, you have actually just started. What did you actually whip here? It's not it's not it's all the ingredients. Whipped cream mm -hmm. yeah. and two tablespoons sugar. Okay, so you've got the cream and the sugar in there first. Out of that you make the whipped cream. That's very important. After you have created the whipped cream, you then put in the mascarpone Masca cheese, yeah. All of that. All of that, you just put that in. And would you then just continue just, whisking it again? Yeah, oh, yes. it was after, but with hand, I ah, don't hand, use yeah. um, machine. Why is that actually? Um, I don't Does know. Does it become too liquid then? Or too dry? I think too that, dry? That, that, that texture. Textures are nice. Okay, so basically in the beginning it's, it's okay, you know, when you're making the whipped cream to use the electric whisk, then once you add the mascarpone, just you know, use your hand to work that into the mixture. It's not so much work. Okay, not so much mm. work. Really? Oh yeah, so Lou is really mixing that mascarpone into that mixture now. And uh, I'm, I'm quite excited about this. You know, I've never had this kind of like layered pancake cake. Uh, quite excited here now. It's going to be, it's obviously a calorie bomb. Uh, you shouldn't maybe have this every day. <laughs> Unless you work out every day for 10 hours. Um, yeah, so that looks uh, pretty cool. Okay, I'm super excited. Uh, Lou has just finished uh, mixing the, uh, the good old cream there. And now she's actually putting the cream on the first uh, pancake um, with a spatula. Um, it's probably the best actually, rather than using a knife. You can get mo more stuff on the, on the spatula. And she's just putting that in. And really what you're creating here is it's just a, a kick-ass sandwich um, <laughs> with all these layers of pancake. I'm, I am salivating so much. Okay, now comes the next pancake. I, oh, it's just wonderful. Okay, so see, that's, that's, that creates the first part of sandwich, absolutely. And then again, the next yeah. bit of uh, cream on top here. Yeah. Until you're really finished, you go on. You have several layers. You probably go, you're definitely going to go into the double figures there. And uh, this is going to look absolutely fantastic. Right, I just had a little taste of that cream and it kind of, you know, tastes like a, a mixture in between uh, diabetes and uh, obesity, if I may say so. Come on, why does it take so long? Do it! But if you don't want to have a um, nice... Come on. Very yellow. Yeah, it's beautiful, but it, it, it does gain height. Uh, it's, uh, I can see a skyscraper emerging here. Okay, so Lou has just uh, finished putting the last pancake on top. It looks absolutely Ooh. divine. It's something that I would order in a restaurant. It looks so kick-ass. I can't. I mean, it's it's the height of a Big Mac, you know. It's it's well, yeah. it's, it's it's really like a, it's like a monster Big Mac. That's the way it just looks right like right now. And um, can I just say? And um, it also reminds me, in case your grandparents, your parents, and you forgot your kid's birthday. That would make a kick-ass birthday. You're gonna, they're gonna love you for that. It's so simple, mm -hmm. but it just looks fantastic. Now the remaining cream that you have left, don't put this on top. You can actually just work it around the outside of this beautiful um, cake creation. Looks fantastic. And um, on top, you would now put that uh, sugar. The yeah. vanilla sugar. Is that, mm -hmm. is that what you have to put on top? Yeah. Yeah. So you, you have the yeah. That's what that's you said. Top. A bit of vanilla sugar you can put on top. Now. What would you serve this with? Anything that you can have with that? Well, that would that be quite nice? Yeah, some fresh berries, mm -hmm. strawberry, wild berries, like blueberries, that, yeah. raspberries, yeah. Yeah. or maybe chocolate syrup on top. Oh, some chocolate like, sauce. Oh, I love mm. that. Yeah, yeah. Pro probably really dark because there's a contrast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, maybe also, put, put the, when you make a crepe yeah. seed, you can put some cocoa powder so it's like uh, chocolate. 
Yes, that's a good yeah. idea. Yes, yes. So yeah. that would be a variation, you know. So while you're making the pancakes, add a bit of um, chocolate powder yeah. to make it uh, darker, basically. So you have a dark, um, milky crepe. Yeah, and this is uh, this is really how you make uh, this milky crepe. I hope you're going to enjoy this. We will definitely enjoy it. One last question: Do you have to put this in the fridge now to rest, or can you go and tug in straight away? Tug in straight. Okay. You see, that's what I like to hear. Uh -huh.